Hey, what's going on YouTube? So this week we got a fish slash plant type of video. We got a little DIY project going on. We're gonna try and make this look a little bit better, a little bit neater, and that's coming up. So I've been growing some pothos out of my fish tank here that does a couple of things. The, that the fish water fertilizes the pothos and the pothos in turn hopefully cleans the fish tank water a little bit. But as you can see, it loves the fish water, loves the light, and it is going crazy. I've already trimmed it back once and uh, needing to do it again, but I have a hard time just trimming it and throwing everything away. So what I want to do is pull all those vines out of the window and I want to put them around the window and I got these little clips to try out. So they look like little leaves and they open up so that you can put the vine in there and stick them to the wall. And I also got a whole bunch of command strips to use with these so that we can try and not damage the wall. First things first, I got to get this mess out of the window and see what we're dealing with. Well, that took a little while to get all that taken care of. It was like dealing with Christmas lights, except very fragile. So I got a couple of these pieces mocked up. Again, I said I was using the command strips. Maybe not quite as pretty as using the adhesive strips that come with them. They do come with their own adhesive strips, but again, I didn't want to do any damage to the paint or anything like that if I wanted to remove them. I felt like that the command strips would be less likely to damage the paint. At this point, I've used like 14 clips. So here's the finished product. This is what it looked like. All of this was all bunched up behind the blinds in the windows. It was making it hard to close the blinds at night. And so there were big gaps. So when the sun had come up in the morning, we get the sun shining in. So hopefully they will continue to grow like this. Hopefully they'll still get enough light. Uh, we'll see in a few weeks how they're doing. But these clips made it really easy to do. I just use the command strips that way if I don't like it or the plant, whatever, I can remove them without hopefully damaging the paint or anything like that. If you look for them, you can see them. But honestly, it actually takes me a minute to start looking for them. If I'm just looking at it, I don't even notice them. So they look really good. So if you're looking to do something like this, I will put a link for these clips and the command strips down in the description. This was a 50 pack and I used about half of them at this point. And I'm gonna go see if I can do a little bit to the one in my office. This is the one that's in my office. It's not going as crazy. There are no fish in this tank to help fertilize it and help it grow. These are some of the trimmings that came off from it last time. And so I put them in some vases or whatever that were sitting on my desk to try and get them to root. And then obviously the water got kind of gross. So I took one of my spare tanks, threw a filter on it so that there was some water circulation and then kind of went from there and I'm like, hey, this would be kind of neat if I were to put a light on it and some fish. So I got a little bit nicer of a tank and, uh, but it's only three gallons. So I'm limited on the fish that I can put in there. So I haven't, I don't have any fish in there. I had some neon tetras that uh, have died off. So, but it's not going as crazy, but I think I want to see if I can get it out of the window and maybe do a little bit of the same thing that I did in the bedroom. And this is how the one in the office turned out. Pretty happy with it. This is a nice, easy DIY project that I think pretty much anybody can do. If you can use a sticker, you can use these. So uh, it, turned out, it turned out pretty great. You can barely even see the clips. And so this is uh, an easy DIY project that you can try yourselves. So I hope this helps some of you out there. 
and give you an idea of what to do with all your vines on your pothos or whatever plants that you have that are climbing or vining. So I guess that does it for this week and we will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.